We have a follow-up for you tonight on a CBS News investigation. Back in January, we told you that veterans in a hospital in Pittsburgh knew for more than a year that it had an outbreak of Legionnaire's disease. The hospital knew it had an outbreak of Legionnaire's disease. But the hospital kept it secret until five patients died and 21 others became ill. Were the people who run the hospital punished? Quite the contrary. Here's Elaine Quijano. Nobody should ever have to walk into a hospital and die like the way he died. Last yeah. fall, Dave and Bob Nicholas spoke to us after losing their 87-year-old father to Legionnaire's disease. William Nicholas, a Navy veteran, caught the deadly pneumonia at the Pittsburgh VA. Bob wanted accountability. It was a preventable situation, and the VA chose not to do anything about it. And if something was done, my dad would be alive today. After our investigation, the VA's inspector general found the Pittsburgh VA failed to prevent the outbreak. The man who oversees that hospital is regional director Michael Moreland. Just days after that finding, the department gave him a nearly $63,000 service award for saving the government money on a hospital construction project and for starting a new infection prevention program. I hope that award that has blood all over it, the deaths of five veterans, I hope that he sleeps well at night. Maureen Ciarola lost her 83-year-old father, Navy veteran John Ciarola, to the outbreak. He never come off the ventilator. And that's where he stayed. He never recovered from that. Last year, Veterans Affairs gave out nearly $97 million in bonuses. Now, Congress plans to review the bonuses given to VA officials who oversaw hospitals that had problems with patient care. For example, according to the Inspector General, the Buffalo VA exposed more than 700 patients to hepatitis over a two-year period by reusing insulin pens. CBS News has learned that during that time, Upstate New York Regional Director David West was awarded nearly $26,000 in bonuses. Failure to monitor mental health patients at the Atlanta VA led to three deaths. We found its former director, James Clark, received over $31,000 in bonuses the years two of those patients died. And records show hospital director Terry Garrick Wolf got a $13,000 bonus the year the Pittsburgh VA failed to prevent, then mismanage the Legionnaires outbreak. Yeah. The Nicholas brothers and Maureen Ciarola are suing the VA for the deaths of their fathers in the outbreak. It's a slap in the face to every veteran and their families. In a statement, the VA said it takes seriously any issue that occurs at one of our 1,700 facilities and that veterans are being well served by a caring and effective workforce. The VA also told us Michael Moreland's $63,000 award is under review. We tried contacting the officials in our story for their reaction. We never heard back from one. Another declined to comment. And Scott, the other two, referred us to the VA. Elaine, thanks very much.